What's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing... I am going to play the deck from the first video I uploaded that had a proper deck in it. So this is... Rivals Champions Blitz 10-0 with Chemical Buggy. This is the first video I uploaded that had a real deck in it. Um, as far as I could see. Like, I look back, like, obviously there's, there's like, some, some random Colosseum videos, but this is, like, the first one that's me playing a real deck. It looks like I don't even have a camera. This is how long ago this was. kind of... kind of awkward, so I need to delete that as well. That's me uh, back in the day. Styles. Me back in the day, chatting. Well, store. Can you guess what I have in store for you? <laughs> <laughs> good, right? What a terrible yeah, pun! Excellent. See, this video, by the way, only has 261 views, chat. So, what I would recommend you do is go back, go back and check out this absolute banger from back in the day. <laughs> Old Blade was funny. New Blade is There's just as funny. That's probably not true. New Blade is probably not as funny. Look at this guy with his level nines. Anyway, let's take a look at this deck. What's in the what's in the air tab? Banshee. This is old Banshee though. This is such a classic old school deck, man. This deck is like just a timeless classic. Um, unfortunately, it does have it does have your boy Banshee in it. Uh, but otherwise, it's a timeless classic. It's literally it's so close to decks I, I played today. It's ridiculous. It's literally like it's this deck but with a Banshee. In the Banshee cries. Somebody Absolutely dies. insane. Uh, what's the commander? It's Oksana. It literally, man, thinks, we literally, we've gone full circle, Jack. We've gone full circle. This is a deck I played, like, in 2019. And it's basically the same as the deck people play now. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, that's the deck we're going to be playing today. Obviously, it's not the same deck because Banshee is totally different. Everything else is pretty much the same, though. But, uh, yeah, Banshee is trash now. So we're basically just going to try and win with five units because Banshee is terrible. But yeah, this is old school deck, proper old school deck. I wonder if that video even has even has monetization. <laughs> oh shit, wrong uh, wrong building, boys. Wrong, I got distracted. Wrong building. All right, I think we're opening bikes. It's fine to open bikes. We have a chuggy. It'll be okay. Opponent has opened dogs. Rewarded for opening bikes. Feels good, man. Feels amazing. He's gone dog dog against bikes. That's a weird opening. Maybe he has MLRS. Normally you would expect them to not make a dog as their second unit against bike opening. So I'm kind of expecting like something like an MLRS here. Yep. Oh man, how am I so good at the game, man? How how am I how are my prediction point my prediction skills are like so on fleek, man. That's that's uh that's the thing the kids say by the way for those of you wondering. I actually don't even think that is something the kids say anymore. I think that's probably something the kids said like ten years ago. I seriously doubt any kids these days would know what on fleet means. Another MLRS? It's kinda sad if you're like making MLRSs and just getting run over by bikes. Oh shit, look at this! He changed target. What a hero. Uh, I should make some lasers, I guess. I could make Banshee, but I want to win the game, so I'm not going to do that. That's Quasar. Quasar's too busy playing Hearthstone to hang out on the stream now. He literally plays, like, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, like, 10 hours a day now. That's all he does. So, yeah, he doesn't hang out on the stream anymore. Bro, filth again. I think you are going to have a bad time, my guy. So just keep making tanks. What can go wrong? Just keep making tanks. Also, I don't know if Quasar knows what the kids are saying these days. He doesn't really hang out with kids that much, does he? Maybe he does now. He's in high school now, right? So maybe he does now. Alright, well, there you go, chat. 1-0. 1-0 with the old school deck. Actually only made, like, bikes, tank, and laser. Alright, let's remember to go rifles first this time. That's probably better. 
We're against Puglin. There's no way that's how you pronounce that. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill and go, uh. Go chuggy. I should probably be charging. I don't know what this guy's up to, but. Random opponent? Yeah, random opponent is going double half like 99% of the time, so we should charge the missile. Now, often tech decks are super weak to chemical buggy because you don't really. I think the reason that chem tech decks are super weak to chemical buggy a lot of the time is because chemical buggy is quite a specific unit. You have to have tank to beat it. And usually people don't play tank in a tech deck because it's quite difficult to fit in. Normally you're, you have a tech unit that beats, uh, that, that fills the role of tank. So it's quite difficult to fit it in there. This guy for some reason does have a tank, um, which was surprising to me. And maybe a problem. Our deck is pretty bad against tank, by the way, because we don't have good Banshee anymore. When this deck was originally built, like when I played it originally, Banshee was the answer to Predator Tank. Because uh, Banshee didn't suck. But now Banshee is absolute trash. Um, so we're against Tank Sniper, it looks like. I do not understand why my opponent has two Harvesters if he's playing Tank Sniper. That makes no sense to me at all. We're gonna have to like try and out micro him hard on the tanks. Oh my god, I just got like two free hits. Okay, we are kind of crushing him in the tank micro department. If you can get enough tanks, you can obviously just like continuously 2v1 the, the predators and then you, you get ahead doing that. This is going pretty well. Uh, I should get a chemical buggy to clean up the infantry quickly. Why is he double half though? That's like, it's like super surprising. So many predators, man. That's a good point actually. He might just be double half so he can spam predator tank. That is like a legitimate thing to do because you can just make infinite tanks on two harvester. You can make like way more tanks than your opponent. That's what he's doing, right? Like I, I've beaten him pretty hard on the tank micro. Now he's just spamming tanks. So I think that might be why he's... I think that might be why he's double half, just so he can make millions of tanks. Oh, I have a chuggy over here. Whoops, that was stupid of me. If I can block this predator, I think I just win. Alright, GG, GG Pooglin. Oh, it's a mammoth tank? What the fuck? Why is there a mammoth tank? <laughs> wow, we were real close to losing that game. We were real close to losing that game. I did manage to avoid the temptation to make a Banshee though, um, because if you make a Banshee you usually lose. That's her Nino. For a second there I thought that was Satanus, but sadly not. Someone recommended a, a deck, right? Oh, it was the GDI splash screen deck. What actually is that deck? Does anyone know? Like offhand? What's in the in loading screen deck? I know there's like a mammoth tank. Which means it's immediately going to be terrible. Buggy? Buggy and a gun? Do I go bikes? I think I do. I don't think I can wait for tank here. Tank is way better against buggy though. Also, he might have tank. People often play tank alongside buggy. There's Giga Cannon. Okay, well, I hate you. I hate you, Saturn, you know. Just so you know, in case you were wondering, I am, in fact, a despiser of you and your family and everyone that you know and love. As you guys may know, I'm not a big fan of Giga Cannon. Uh, what do I do against the Giga Cannon? Can't really Banshee because it's unplayable. I have to try and kill it with tanks. Uh, it's a field bad. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll chuggy to clear the blockers. Try and get in there with a tank. I make Giga. <laughs> I use Oksana. I play. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go Banshee now, sadly. But yeah, that's as true as true today as it was when I set, first said it. All right, see you later, Giga Cannon. See, what he did wrong there was the thing he put in front of Giga Cannon didn't block my tank. 
That's the mistake he made there. Yo, Banshee, please kill this thing. Do not let it fire. Oh my god, thank you. I would have been so pissed at Banshee if he let that Inferno fire there. Also, why does he have Inferno and Giga Cannon? What are you doing, Saturnino? Like, seriously, bro? Erskine. I think that's an eye anyway. Could be could be lure skin, I guess. Uh he appears to be AFK, so that sounds like a free win to me. Nope, no, there's the harvester. My dude, you can't just start the game like 12 seconds in, you're gonna lose. 12 seconds is too long to wait to start the game. Alright, let's kill this buggy. This is a sad day for Erskine. It's a real sad day, man. Still hasn't got on the still hasn't got on the tip. Alright, he's on the tip. He's finally on the tip. I've managed to transition into bikes though. He should be pretty broke, right? Because he's gone buggy, 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 and he didn't harvest for ages. So I'd assume he's kind of broke. Get a harvester here. Okay. Alright, Poggers. Sorry, man, I'm just going to lock you out of the game. It's nothing personal. I just want to win more than I want to lose. And you, uh, you skipped the first 10 seconds, so... Unfortunately, it do be that way. Man, I hate to be in his spot right now. I've been in that spot a few times. Like when your deck, when I play these terrible decks that just don't have any early game and someone just rushes you with a tank. You're like, yeah, I'm dead. It's very upsetting. Sorry, Erskine, nothing personal. Just, uh, just gotta do what I gotta do, man. Wait, is the game not over? Bro, that was only first missile. It's like two minutes in. Spent too much time attacking his harvesters, I guess. But like, we are literally able to lock him out of the game completely, so... I know I say harvester kills don't matter that much, but when you stop your opponent from harvesting completely, they matter quite a lot. Like, one harvester kill, not that big a deal, but like, eight. Probably dead if you get like, eight harvester kills. I have enough tanks that I can just kill his lasers with tanks as well. Tanks OP. Or maybe not? My tanks are getting kind of shrecked. And this guy really doesn't want to give it up. He's got a fighting spirit, this Erskine. Alright, there we go. Now we got him. Sorry, Erskine. Galatas Array? Ah, it is my good friend... Galatas Array. He's also skipping the first 10 seconds of the game? Bro, this is not a winning strategy. If you at home are watching and wondering how to win, skipping the first like 15 seconds is not the way. Yup. This is not this is not how you do it, boys. <laughs> this is not how you do it. Man, I feel so bad. It's the worst when you're in his spot. Is he gonna also buggy? Oh my god, it's chem buggy, holy shit. Oh, I did not see that one coming. Yeah, I feel kind of bad, but also, like, you know, if you're gonna skip the first 10 seconds of the game, this, this kind of shit's gonna happen to you. Imagine if he just won the missile with his harvester, that'd be actually kind of great. It's unlikely to happen, but it would have been, it would have been kind of sweet. And another game, another game of similar nature to the last one. Now the question is, is he saving for laser or is he, is he quit? Oh, laser drone? Okay, I guess. Okay. 
I guess that's kind of good here. Three hundred and seventy-two. I can even make the the fabled banshee here. I require more laser drones. <laughs> Tommy's whole role in life now is to play amusing blurps at the right time. <laughs> that one guy. I should have gone rifle first again in case he's missing the first 10 seconds of the game. Oh, this guy didn't skip the first 10 seconds of the game. Insane. Imagine playing in the first 10 seconds. Outrageous. I actually hate making lasers against dogs. I actually don't want to trade. I think the dog player wants to trade and the laser player doesn't. I think the lasers have a lot more value as the game goes on and the dogs are kind of terrible. The only reason the dogs are good is if you can literally just win the missile with dogs. Like if you just if you just make so many dogs that the opponent can't kill them in time. Otherwise the dogs really become useless very quickly. Uh, whereas the lasers are pretty good throughout the whole game. Is that a grenadier I spy? What the fuck? Alright, let's go attack the harvester. Not because I want to attack the harvester, I just want his grens to follow me. Yeah, they're actually doing it. That's all I wanted, man. I just wanted his grens to follow me so that I could win the missile. I don't actually care about attacking his harvester, I just want his grens off the pad. Hoggers! Thanks for the missile, that one guy. Uh, we're gonna put a cloud on the grens and run, and then we're gonna put a cloud on the grens and run. Oh, we didn't get the cloud down, Rick. Don't ever go into grens with a chuggy, that's how you lose. Always tank with another unit, and then go in with the chuggy, and put the cloud down and retreat. Never fight the, never fight the grens. You can beat Grens reasonably, like mutants are pretty hard to beat with Chuggy because they're just absolute chonkers. Uh, Grens not so much, Grens are a lot easier to beat with Chuggy. But you still can't just go in in 1v1, that's not how that works. You still have to play in a, in a smart way, but if you play in a smart way you can win against Grens pretty easily. I actually like, because I, I hear people saying like quite often to me, they're like, oh you should try Grens, they're like really good against Chuggy. And I'm like, no, they're good against, like, no offense, but they're kind of good against bad Chuggy players. Good Chuggy players, not so much. Good Chuggy players will, like, tank your Gren with something else, and then they'll fuck you up with the Chuggy. That's been my experience anyway. Yo, target that, man, what are you doing? Also, why do I have two Chuggies? Ah, savage misclick. Well, to be fair, two Chuggy isn't that bad, because he probably makes Gren. No, he's gone shocks. That's probably a misclick. He's probably meant to go Gren. Alright, GG, that one guy. GG. He made like two Grens and they killed... I think they maybe got like one Chuggy? They you might have needed Pitbull support to do it. Hmm. Three, two, soldier. This guy I definitely know. This guy I think is like not bad at the game. Oh, what's up, Pablo? Pablo, did you see that Coach is, uh, has betrayed us and probably won't be able to play at Obelisk? I think I was going to go bikes. I don't really like the double laser that much. I do want to stall, though, so I'm going to move on to here a little bit. Again, it's the same thing where, like, the wheel player wants to trade. Because once the bikes come out, the wheels are useless. And the laser player doesn't really want to trade because the lasers still have value. Why is why are there three wheels here? Didn't I hit these with a entire volley? What's going on? How did I? How the fuck did that happen? Just the bug again? That bug, man. That bug is just like twenty four seven. All right, let's just go laser chuggy and see how that goes. Fuck! Fuck! Go back, laser. What are you doing? I'm just gonna make a tank. <laughs> I'm just gonna make an easy mode tank. Really cocked that one up. That should have been like the easiest. Should have been like the easiest missile of my life instead of. <laughs> oh, get deleted, Giga Cannon! Get 
deleted my guy. I've never seen a Giga Cannon just die that fast. That was outrageous. He boosted it and then it got hit by my tank and my bikes at the same time. It just evaporated. That was incredibly satisfying. Hope I can do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make all your lasers. Make all your lasers, my guy. See if I care. And now you're going to make a Giga Cannon like a Jabroni. No? Boys, did you see that? <laughs> the fastest blurb creation of all time. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't I'm sad I didn't get the bit where I was like, did you see that Giga get deleted? <laughs> I know it's disgusting, but I like Ensorga. <laughs> it's my secret shame. <laughs> to dodge? I'm playing an event. He's not playing the event. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Maverick. I really hope this is Tom Cruise. That's my hope. I know it's unlikely, chat, but don't take it away from me. I'm hoping this is Tom Cruise playing Command & Conquer Rivals. There's always a chance. It's not a zero percenter. You gonna make flamers or what's going on, Maverick? Oh, he just goes chuggy? What a fucking lunatic. Like, okay, seriously, that's that's insane. Is it insane? It's kind of insane. Like, I didn't even have another laser. I just had a rifleman and he's like, yep, chuggy. All right, so in the chuggy mirror, you just make loads of bikes. And then if he makes laser, I'll just make chuggy. Although, is he gonna have laser? Yeah, he could definitely have laser. Boost? Chat. I know I've said this on in videos before, probably. I'm pretty sure I've said it before. Don't boost bikes. The only time you should boost bikes is when you need to kill a light air unit. Because bikes will not fire quickly enough to kill a light air unit before the missile fires. So you need to boost them to get two shots off before the missile fires. Never boost bikes in a bike mirror. That is an awful play. That is such a bad play, man. It costs the same as another bike squadron, and it doesn't make any difference to the matchup. I think you win you win with like one bike for the boost. And a single bike is worth about 10 Tiberium. You spend 30 Tiberium to get like 10 to. Sometimes you could boost for like the speed. If you're boosting for the speed, maybe that's fair enough. But yeah, just don't do it, chat. Just another Giga Cannon player. So many degenerates today. What the hell, man? Just sitting here trying to play some chill rivals. I just play against Degenerates 24-7. Very upsetting. I don't- I really don't want to make the Banshee. I know that chat is going to be like, you should make the Banshee, but... Seriously, Banshee sucks. Nice. He had like, no blocker effect. He had effectively no blocker. He had like the tiniest blocker ever. And he still killed the- still traded for the Scorpion tank. Giga Cannon is a balanced unit. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Perhaps the most balanced unit. I actually think I'm gonna have to make a Banshee. Although I'm kind of broke, I don't think I even can make a Banshee. Yo, bo 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 bo! Fuck you, Giga Cannon! Fuck you! Alright, got him. I hope that chat also hates Giga Cannon as much as I do, and therefore can be entertained by these, these Giga Cannon slappings that are happening. Yo, why is my chuggy up here? What the fuck am I doing? Alright, it doesn't matter. Oh! Oh, let's go, baby! Slap another Giga! Come on, let's go! Oh, so tasty, man. So fucking juicy. I've destroyed so many Giga Cannons this run. Really, really pleases me. Objective complete. Maverick again. Well, we know he's got the, uh, we know he's got the, the Jigajou cannon. Um, he didn't, he went, he went, uh, he went wheels into, he went wheels into Chuggy last time. So maybe I'll just go straight bikes. Although, actually, you know what, if I force him to make a Chuggy with a single laser, that's really good value. So I'm gonna make the laser. Unit ready. 
Let's go straight into Giga Cannon. What a degenerate. Actually a degenerate. Everyone I play against is just a massive degenerate these days. When you're making Giga Cannon to counter infantry, that's when you know you're a dick. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. Once you're countering infantry with Giga Cannon, you're just a knobber. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Once you're once you're making gear cannons, you're counter the laser. Then you're just a dick. Cause that's bullshit. Like that's just fucking bullshit, man. Yo, fuck your gear cannon, man. Yeah, you better run, you little bitch. Sorry, chat. I'm a little bit triggered by this gear cannon. Do I actually have to make a Banshee? The worst fucking day of my life if I have to make a Banshee. It just doesn't do anything is the problem. Like, you make the Banshee and it just dies to the lasers, so it's just garbage anyway. I guess it can make the- it can- it can sometimes make the Giga Cannon move. That's the upside. That's the upside of the Banshee. The Giga Cannon moves one tile. It's like a Jade Missile. Yeah, fuck you! Get out of my game, Maverick! Get out of my game. Get deleted, Giga Cannon. <laughs> Get deleted, my guy. I've never seen a Giga Cannon just die that fast. That was outrageous. <laughs> That's a good blurb. I have photo 2019 deck, but no photo 2018 deck. Alright, final game against Lizzie. I'm guessing this is probably not Lizzo, but again, I'm hoping it is. Playing against Tom Cruise and Lizzo in the same event. Insane. We have some brave players, Phantom. Who would you consider a brave player? What happened to that guy? Was it Zeneral? That doesn't sound like the right name. Was it Zeneral, the guy who played Triple Tech? And just went for base kills all the time? Was that Zeneral? This guy's gonna be real sad, by the way, because his MG doesn't cover two pads, it only covers one. He's gone for a second MG. What a lunatic. Uh, we're gonna definitely need a chemical buggy here. He's clearly no halving, so... We might lose first missile. If we do, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Sometimes you lose first missile to no half MG. In fact, pretty much always you lose first missile to no half MG. So, if we lose first missile, I'm not really that fast. That's not really what it's all about. Um, although I shouldn't really have lost my chemical buggy there, that was a misplay. Like, if you're gonna, like, you're always gonna lose the first missile, you just wanna, don't wanna lose too much value doing it. Because then it's difficult to, to clear it. You need to build up a big force and then just push them in one go. So, yeah. Oh, this, uh, this MG is moving and almost dead. I guess he's suiciding it. I'll, I'll, I'll do him a favor and, and take it out for him. That's fine. I'm gonna make a tank. Tank is good against the pit bulls. It's also good at absorbing damage from the MG whilst you go in with other stuff. Uh, I'd like to make another unit, but it looks like we're not going to have time. Oh, I think we go in now. Come to my, uh, did my thing die already? That was quick. I'm not playing this missile very well. I might lose here. Yeah, I didn't play this very well. I think I might still, it looks like I might still win anyway, but... Oh my god, what am I doing? What was that horrible misclick? Bro, what is happening right now? I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Bro, actually horrendous. I think I'm gonna lose, I think I might have thrown. Let's find out. Nope, nope, maybe? Close? Oh, it's gonna be close, boys. Has Blade thrown this game? Let's find out. My micro this game was absolutely appalling. I'm not sure I even deserve to win. Although my opponent's playing no half MG, so actually I definitely deserve to win. If you play no half MG, you deserve to lose every game you play, so... Yeah, I guess I do deserve to win. Uh, once we've won a missile, it's almost impossible to lose. Especially with Chemical Buggy in the deck. Like, if you don't lose... You need to win both missiles, there's no half MG, you can't. You can't be winning. You can't be losing a missile. Once the later the game goes, the worse it gets for you. 
Because now we get to a point where I don't even run out of money spamming chemical buggies, and how's he ever going to beat that? He's like completely broke as well, so... Yeah, this one's over. I didn't play this game very well, I really like, I really cocked this one up, but it didn't matter because no half MG sucks. <laughs> See ya, Lizzo! <laughs> uh, Alright, there it is. 10-0, as was the as was the result last time we played this deck in February 13th, 2019. 10-0 then, 10-0 now. You guys can check out that video, it's probably very low quality. Uh, it's back before I had any editing software as well, I think. So it's <laughs> it's just just some raw stream footage. <laughs> uh, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.